this is going to be also Crip Boy's in-ring debut, teaming up with the F4L to do wage war with Keo's Alliance. And of course, those of you guys who missed it, uh, the return of Bane's longtime tag team partner and the most dominating tag team of Dream Masters history of Doomsday. So Doomsday and Bane back together against the world's end. And of course, you know, there were, he wasn't going to leave John Keo high and dry, or so he says. So world's end finds themselves being aligned with Keo's bullies. So, and there we have it. And here we go. It's on. Looks like Crip Boy is going to start things off with Bane. Oh, across the back. And Crip Boy is going to kick out at two. This is Crip Boy's first in ring debut. So, see how he rages against Bane, who pushes him to the mat. Both Bane and Doomsday, the world's end. <coughs> Excuse me, both very dominating individuals. Well, when it comes to heart, guts, and determination, the F4L are very much ready for the challenge. And Bane now helping up. Ooh, knee to the face. Of Crip Boy. Of course, the leader of the F4L looking on there. You see Sean Jazz Stevens there cheering on his comrade from Wales. Oh, got wrench suplex by Bane. Of course, Bane's very content with doing things himself, too. He's the powerhouse of said group. Oh, Crip Boy puts the brakes on. Again, he's not going to go down without a fight. Bane shoves him to the mat. Going to make a tag, and in comes Ace Adams. He's the daredevil of the group. Who Bane... Oh, wait. Bane thought he was going to take it easy on the daredevil, but the daredevil gets out of that, and Ace Adams with a nice standing drop kick. And it's on, folks. Ace Adams now sends Bane to the corner. And Bane quickly knows to get out of that corner. He is a tag team specialist as Bane. Even though he can go by himself just as easy. As he sends Crip Boy now to the opposite corner. This isn't good news. Uh-oh. And now Dan Keo gets the, co the count, the tag. And Dan Keo now in the ring. Locking a lo uh, ankle lock on Ace Adams. He lies, he cheats, he steals, as El Guapo Dan Keo likes to say. The younger brother of John Keo. Oop! Ace Adams catches him sleeping with a drop kick. You cannot take the firecracker known as Ace Adams lightly, as he will make you pay for it every single time. He is fast, he is quick, and he is agile. And he is not afraid to take risks. That is for sure. As now, Dean Keo is finding out as Ace Adams introduces his head to the top turnbuckle. Sends him to the corner. And there's the blind tag to Bane coming back in. Ace Adams sees it coming in, but Bane, unfortunately, too quick. Ace Adams now gets a cover. You can't nonchalantly cover a person like Ace Adams. He's, he's been raging war with John Keo since the beginning of time, along with his longtime best comrade, his best friend, his brother, Jazz, Sean Jazz Stevens. And oh no, power bomb by Bean, who just drops the daredevil. Oh. Shoves Ace to the ground. Ace looking for a tag. And he gets the tag to the leader of the F4L. It's Sean Jazz Stevens who drops Bane with a clothesline. And the leader of the F4L celebrates 32 years in pro wrestling. How embarrassing would it be for him to lose? 
But then again, it's all about the new rookies and the rising stars, as I have had my glory days. And, gain, and Bane with a nice, almost Olympic-type slam. I particularly am not a fan of going in the ring with the world's end. I have. Not fond of it as Bane. And that's a reversal there. And there's the blind tag to Bane's tag team partner, Big Ol' Doomsday. And that is not good news. I am not fond. And there's Dan Keo up to shenanigans. Pulls the leg out from underneath me. I told you, you got to keep an eye on him. He's a sneaky guy. As Doomsday is celebrating like he did something important, which he hasn't really. There's a clubbing blow. That's actually the first thing that Doomsday has done thus far. Now sends me into the post. Not only really fond of that. And the leader of the F4. Oh, knife edge chop. Not going to do a lot there, but wait a minute. Defy Order Driver. There it is. Doomsday getting welcome with the Defy Order Driver. Throw back to Jazz Fitness. And Doomsday almost got eliminated on the outside. Of course, Doomsday is a walking powerhouse anyway. Got to be careful. Oh, there's a roll up. Referee, not out of position again. I'm telling you, this referee is going to be the death of all of us. And now Doomsday sends me into the post again. Not good news right there. But I don't go down without a fight either as I toss him into my neutral corner, which is smart. I'm going to cut him off as I am a very accomplished tag team wrestler. As 22 years ago today, 22 years ago, 32 years ago I started, but only 20, not too long after that, I would have the luxury of teaming with some of the greatest tag team partners I've ever had and friends of mine who are doing big things in wrestling now, and I'm very proud of all of them as Doomsday drops me on my head. And goes in for the cover. Gets a one count. Yeah, I can tell you that. I have more fight left in me than that. As Doomsday helps me up, which is nice of him. And to reward him, I throw him into the steel stairs. And, oh boy. And a quick roll up. Referee out of position. Again. Maybe someday the referee will stay where he's supposed to be. I don't know why the referee's all the way on the other side and there's nobody there. Horrible referee, I'm just saying. As Doomsday has now taken the ring to give me some air. I don't know how smart that is. I'm going to say it's not smart at all. Giving me time to think and regroup is... Oh my! Doomsday spits in my face and now kicks me in the head. Is that going to do it for me? No. I've been spit on before, and it's not going to do it this time either. And Doomsday sent into the post again. Pinfall submissions and knockouts obviously happen out there too, folks, as Doomsday tosses me now to the other side. Up I come. Look out, Doomsday. I'm coming for you. Doomsday went ahead and pissed me off, and that's not a good time to piss me off. Follow him in the ring. Uh-oh. And Doomsday saw me coming belly-to-belly -belly suplex. I need to make a tag now. I know this. As I pull myself up, I'm going to stand my ground and a kick to the ribs. Send Doomsday out of the top. And I'm going to go right back out of that show. No fear whatsoever. Of any of the people I just had to walk through to get to him, mind you. Of course, John Keough, long rival, and his younger brother, just as dangerous, out there watching on. Catching Doomsday. Wait a minute. Yeah, take some of this as a one-handed spine buster, using my strength to my advantage. And sends Doomsday to the other side. Doomsday has been getting uh, beaten, and he's been in the ring since he's, he's actually been involved here since he got in. And that's it. Doomsday has been eliminated, courtesy of me. That might be the first time I've ever eliminated him. Here comes Dan Keogh, younger brother of John. 
El Guapo comes in from behind. Here he comes, and there's the tag. Here comes Crip Boy in from Wales. Catches him with a drop kick. Beautifully done. And Crip Boy now takes the. Oh, wait a minute. Nice butterfly suplex by Crip Boy. He is a musician and a beautiful graphic designer work that he does. He's actually the one who came up with the F4L logo that you see. As Dan Keo with a springboarded drop kick. As his brother is yet to get in the ring. No surprise there. And Dan Keo now sends Crip Boy to the opposite corner. You would think he'd be smarter than that. He wasn't. And in comes D-Rock, ladies and gentlemen. The powerhouse of the F4L. The even scale and the deciding factor. As he takes... Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, what is that? Oh, Dragon Sleeper by Dan Key... By, by D-Rock. Almost puts D... Almost puts Dan Keo to sleep. Bane came in to try to save... They thought maybe twice about it as D-Rock gets a two count. D-Rock, an original F4L. Oh my. Spinning tombstone pile driver. See you later. And the referee, slow to make the count. And it doesn't matter. He can count to 100 and he's eliminated. Now he's going to goat John Keogh. That's smart maneuvering right there by D-Rock. D-Rock, however, not paying attention. But here comes John, and there's the sidewalk slam by D-Rock. He is the even, he is the innovator in the in even keeled mail. There's the DDT by John Keo. Helping up D-Rock. Don't worry, it's not for good reasons, folks. Oh, tour of the world suplex by the, the supposed self-acclaimed genius, John Keough. Punched the ribs. D-Rock still on his feet. Oh, no. Front face takedown. And now, John Keough makes the tag to Bane. Here comes the big man. And D-Rock welcomes him in with a one-handed spine buster. Bane thought he was going to come in and ring havoc. And D-Rock is one that can hit, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bane. I did eliminate Bane's tag team partner, so I'm sure he's really thrilled about that. D-Rock and the f -Well have no fear, for they fight for love, care, and compassion, understanding, and respect for everyone's differences. And, um, yeah, that's the f -Well motto, and that's what the f -Well fight for. And, of course, the bullies are the opposite of that. Bane looking to try to do something to D-Rock. D-Rock too, going too fast. And, nope, Bane trying to get some offense in. There's a spine buster out of nowhere. That'll slow things down in the cover. Gets a one count. Bane's got to be frustrated, but he knows better. John Keogh trying to pull himself up as he's gone through hell already. <laughs> the short time that he was in the ring. Bane now tossed out of the ring. And there goes D-Rock right on after him. D-Rock has the tendency sometimes, his heart is in the right place, but sometimes he puts himself in harm's way. And there's a brain buster. Oh, wait, he's going for the super duper brain buster. There it is on the outside. He gets hit it with the hangover and pushed over the referee. D-Rock got a little bit overzealous there. Tired of the referee's slow count. Push the referee down. Almost co might have cost himself the th elimination there by pushing the referee down. But I get, I get his frustration. This referee is terrible, folks. As now D Rock going to put the finishing touches on Bane. Uh oh. And D Rock's going old school, being the old school left for all that he is, walking the rope down across the back. And D-Rock showing his appreciation for the fans. And in comes John Keough. D-Rock catches him with the knee. He thought he was going to take a cheap shot. D-Rock is just as long experienced as Ace Adams and, and Sean Jazz Stevens and knowing the tricks that John Keough is known for. 
So, so far the F4L is well intact. No one has been eliminated on the F4L thus far. And Keo is trying to eliminate at least a member of the F4L. As John Keo and Bane are the last of the bullies. As the other two have been eliminated, both his brother and Doomsday. As I eliminated his brother, as, as I eliminated Doomsday, and his brother is eliminated by, I believe it was Ace Adams, or it might have been D-Rock, who John Keogh just hit D-Rock with a st uh, back suplex after a no-sell. D-Rock's looking to end John Keogh. Oh, spear and a half by D-Rock. That could be it. That's a referee not in position. Referee's terrible. He's probably feeling some kind of way about D-Rock pushing him over earlier. And now John Keogh dumped to the outside. D-Rock has no problem where he beats you up. He will beat you up. Outside, inside, it doesn't matter. And now picking him up and dumps John Keogh. Long rivalry. Oh, Keogh catches him. Keogh fighting back. Not very well liked as John Keogh, but... Say what you will about him, at least he is a devastating, he is a very worthy competitor for one of Jazz Vengeance. He usually gives them the run for the money. Front face lock, and d is going to get the upper hand with a swinging neck breaker to John Keogh. The, like I said, the self-proclaimed smartest man in the universe. Sent face first to the turnbuckle. Brain's not going to do much when they're wrapped around the pole. As d -Rock Sends Keo into the ring. Well, man, Keo, he's got him in an arm bar. Oh, Keo with a reversal, elbow to the head. Keo might want to make a tag, though. You're Nagi throw. Keo goes in for the cover. And gets a two count. Keo has not eliminated anyone thus far. The f is still intact. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't going to be good, though. Keo is measuring T-Rock, and there it is. He's going to put him to sleep. Got that throat down the gullet. Crip Boy coming in to try to help. He's trying to help him, but Keo just releases the hold for some apparent reason. Now goes in for the cover. And now Crip Boy comes in for the save. And, oh no. But Keo again measures D-Rock. And again, fingers down the gullet. He's trying to eliminate him by the cross face. And there it is. The mandible claw. The Keo's curse is what he calls it. And D-Rock's been eliminated, folks. And in comes Ace Adams, who is not going to take kindly to that. Nice. Has his takedown. Again, the Daredevil. Even in the playing fields, you got to be careful with that. The curse of the Keo's curse will come and haunt you, as D Rock just found out. He was a dominating force, was D Rock. Hats off to him. As Ace Adams now is caught. Oh no. Ace Adams lighting up John Keo on the outside. Boom, what a move. <laughs> and Ace Adams, the daredevil. Oh, Bane right there to stop that count, which is right in front of him. Ace Adams, again, is kind of the daredevil, and he's not afraid of taking risks, including beating people up in their enemy territory. Uh-oh, but d -Rock, he might have waited too long as Keo waited with the power slam, and now the tag to Bane. Yeah, Keo's been in there for a little while. He's actually in there longer than he usually is. Not on his own account, by the way, as Bane now looks to eliminate... Another member of the F4O into the cover. And he does. And it's now initially a tag team match. And the fans here in the Dream Masters F4O Arena are going nuts. As it is now a tag team match <laughs> with the F4O leader, Sean Jazz Stevens, yours truly, and Crip Boy, Parfait. The last of the Mohicans. Down goes Bane. Into the cover. And Keo's all by himself, folks. Can Ke Now the two rivals go back to fourth. Keo down. 
Are we going to see the Black Rose? Are we going to see the Shadow Kick? Or does he? Ha do I have something else in mind? Here comes the Shadow Kick, ladies and gentlemen. Game, set, match. There's the Shadow Kick, ladies and gentlemen. That should do it. And it is. And only fitting after 32 years, I yet again defeat my old rival in real life and in the game. And again, it's completely randomized, folks. I have no control over that. If I lost, I lost. But I, myself, and Crip Boy are going into the melee as well as we have now qualified. Which is impressive. What a match, folks. I can't say enough about the display of amazingness that that was. Everyone did a great job as Ace Adams and D-Rock coming back as the F4L hang down the fort as Crip Boy makes a triumphant return, makes a triumphant return um, debut. And what a great time he picked to come back as the team warped back.